G'day YouTube. Uh, today I'm doing a, um, a memorial brew in honour of Paul Wicksteed, who sadly passed away around this time last year. Um, just having my morning coffee and uh, let's get on with it. Let's enjoy the fond memories, the YouTube videos, the uh, the way that Paul used to interact with uh, all his viewers, and uh, let's do the man justice. I'm brewing supercharger today. Um, the only thing not exact to the recipe is the yeast I'll be using is USO5 rather than White Labs 001 uh, but other than that uh, I'm, I've got everything else so let's get on with it right we're just getting our strike water sorted be right back with you This is, uh, I'll give you a look at the, the grist, so it's, it's pretty good, it's almost powdery, at the, I'm going to get a, a good uh, efficiency out of that lot. So we're going to begin the dough-in process very shortly. And since I've been uh, getting a finer crust, I've actually had to uh, change the way that I dough in. I used to just dump it all in and uh, go from there but now I, I actually sort of take my time and do it properly okay dough in here we go and I've actually also been uh, mashing slightly higher like a instead of 65 about 67 to give a little bit more body to the uh, to the brew so I'm always learning always learning So 
indeed I am getting a slight amount of dough balls which I never used to get but I, my crush wasn't as fine as it is now I'm averaging around about 77-78% efficiency which is not everything but it's nice to know you getting the most out of the, the grain. looking pretty uniform before I lose too much temperature I'm gonna relocate that to where it goes and put the temperature probe in and see what we got okay we didn't quite get the temperature we were after but we got 66 I was after 67 I must have spent a wee bit too long uh, mix, mixing uh, mat dubbing in so anyway we're going to let this roll for an hour and I'll get my hops ready. Here's all the hops. We've got Pacific Jade there, Citra there, Centennial there, Amarillo there, and Simcoe there. So I'll just get on and measure them out and uh, we'll get back to it. And there's my hops. Schedule. I've got uh, 7 grams of uh, Pacific Jade for 60 minutes. I've got uh, 30 grams of Amarillo, 30 grams of Simcoe, 20 grams of Centennial for 10 minutes. Uh, the same again for the 15 minute Whirlpool. And 60 of Citra, 20 of Simcoe dry hop for 3 days. And that's it. Okay, so we've reached the uh, sparging stage. Uh, actually, we've reached the ball off stage, I should say. So I'm going to take my colander, put it in there, grab my uh, trusty little container and we'll begin. And we're going to get a lot of rubbish. I don't like to start it too quick. I like to let that grain bead, grain bead set in quite nicely. It's 
one. Fun stuff. It's starting to clear up already. Believe it or not. And this supercharger is a fantastic beer, whether it's brewed at home or bought, bought at the local brewery. It's, uh, it's pretty good stuff. I reckon we might just about get away with it this time looking relatively clear so I think we'll let this go and I'll, I'm not going to sit there and film this whole all off process right, we'll let that go Okay, so right now I'm going to do a batch sparge and okay and the other seven and a half litres, that makes 15 litres. Okay. I'm going to give this a bit of a stir up. To open up the grain bead again. I'm happy with that. 74. 74 great guns. We're doing well. Okay, so we've got a nice rolling boil going on there. Still a bit of protein to protein to get back in the uh, the solution, but that'll make its way in there over the next 10 minutes or so. So in grows 7 grams of Pacific Jade and we're going to start the boil timer for 1 hour and at 45 minutes I will put in the um, Irish Moss and the Wart Chiller and at 10, uh, 10 minutes to go I'll put in the um, 30 grams of Amarillo, 30 grams of Simcoe, and 20 grams of Centennial. And uh, yeah, the rest is easy breezy. Okay, at this stage we've got uh, a bit of Irish moss going in. And 
uh, the next hop drop is about to happen. It'll be five minutes okay. away. Okay, so I've got uh, ten minutes left to go. We're putting 30 Amarillo, 30 Simcoe, and 20 Centennial in there. And we'll also put the wart chiller in because uh, it needs a good 10 minutes to sanitize. There we go. Beautiful. Let's just set that up. Okay. So what we've got is we've finished our boil, our 60 minute boil, and I'm going to remove the immersion elements. I'm going to remove those. And I've got my... Uh, my uh, thermometer in there and I'm going to cool it down to to about 77 degrees Celsius and then I'm going to whirlpool so I can take these out They've pretty much done their thing. So we're at 86. Won't take much. Won't take much to get it down to uh, 76. Because that's Ideally 170 Fahrenheit is where I want to be. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so that's where we want to be. I'm going to drop these hops in. We're going to stick that on there and give it a wee stir. not really a whirlpool as such, but it's a hot stand nonetheless. So what I'm going to do is put that lid on, sort of some of the way, and we'll leave that for 15 minutes and we'll get back when we're walk chilling. Okay, so we've, uh, we've finished the whirlpooling. Wow the hop stand I suppose you'd call it in my case and we need to get rid of that so what we're going to do down to 70 degrees so we lost six degrees which wasn't too bad considering it's not sealed up or anything Just give it a bit of a nudge Side. 
fire our water on. Okay, so we've uh, finished the brew day. We've just got to aerate our wort and transfer it to the um, to the uh, fermentation vessel. Pitch our yeast, get it in the fermentation chamber, and go and grab a nice supercharger. This stage, that I'll grab a gravity sample. Now that it's and we'll see just what we got. Hoping for about. Wow, ten fifty seven. That's pretty much bang on. It should have come out ten fifty six. Um, I could be reading the meniscus incorrectly but it's pretty close to 1056 1057 so that's good that's awesome give us another look Two, four, six, no it's 1057 1057 so we got 78 around about 78 percent efficiency oh i've got to see how much we've got in here as well off to a good start. Right. Let's have a look and see how many litres we've got. Oh, we smack on! Excellent! I got my 20 litres, uh, 21 litres, uh, wow, 20.5 litres. Uh, we'll pitch our yeast and we'll get it in the fermentation uh, fermentation chamber There's one these two and we'll just sanitize this It's all set to go in the fermentation vessel uh, chamber. Now we will sanitize the lid. back in a second.
Okay, we've just got to just got to lift it into the fermentation chamber. I've already set the um, uh, digital temperature gauge to 18 degrees. Let's get it in there. And get. Why is that not working? Oh, that's why. There we go. Now we should be in business. Done. Now all we've got left to do is put our uh, put our earlock in. It's, uh, it's 19 and a half degrees at the moment, it's a, a overshot by a little bit, uh, it's not going to hurt it. Um, so I'll be right back, I'm just going to zip out, grab a beer, a um, supercharger, which I didn't have prepared already, because it's so nice I would have drunk it. Uh, I'll be right back with the toast. To the dearly departed Paul Wicksteed. Cheers. Okay, brew day is over. Um, it's in the fermenter now. It's at 18.4 degrees. It's got to come down 0.4. Um, and that only took about 15, 20 minutes to uh, come down to temperature. I've got a genuine pan head custom ales supercharger that I'm going to crack open and have a drink to the late great Paul Wicksteed. burnt orange colour. Time for another one. Mm, lovely passion fruit off the top.
just as I remember it. Uh, let's keep this going. I for one am going to do a won't necessarily be on the fifth unless I can prepare ahead for it. I kind of missed it this year but um, I've still managed to um, to brew a uh, an honorary supercharger clone um, which will be ready in a, about a month. Um, yeah, so here's to you, Paul. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, your legacy lives on. Cheers. Gotta say, that's fantastic. And uh, I picked these two up while I was uh, down at the bottle store. This is the Panhead uh, Quick Change Extra Pale Ale and the Panhead Pilsner Port Road Pils. And remember, drink good beer, make good beer, brew like a legend. <laughs>